Okay, so earlier this week, I was unfairly thrown out of the show, um, and I understate how unfairly it was treated. You're actually right. You really were unfairly treated. I give content, and then I get tossed for giving content. You have low energy for starting a show. Right, right now? now? Yeah. Because it, I wanted to set a, a somber mood to oh. the thing, because I got thrown out. So you're wallowing in your own sadness? It wasn't wallowing in my own sadness. It's more of like, man, I was thrown out. I thought my top five was was good. I oh, thought your top dis- five. Yeah, I thought a dismount on the Tony's Top 5 NBA Draft Edition was not good, but I got caught up because I had messed up a name, and that kind of stuck with me. So I was talking at the same time, and then you were talking at the same time, Billy, because you were talking about key lime pie or whatever it was. So no. it's hard. No, yeah. you're right. It was a whole pie. I have a question for you. Okay. <clears throat> um, When you're like watching a show or doing a show or whatever, right? So you didn't do it here, right? But on other shows, like they'll say hello to each other, like, hey, how's it going? Oh, hey, we're here, you know, Mystery Crate, whatever. Hey, Mike Fuentes, how are you doing, Jeremy? How you, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. But we've been with each other for like six hours at least already today, mm-hmm. right? Eight, if not probably. more. So like we're not even bothering with pretending to do pleasantries and say Correct. hello to each other. Well, it's also in the spirit of the show. We start talking, you kind of hear everybody's voice bounce around, and then somebody says, welcome to Mystery Crate. Yeah. Hey! Hey, welcome. Here we are. Welcome to Mystery. Crate. So we're here. We're here in Mystery. Hey, Crate. Hey, exactly. Hey, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So that was kind of low energy today. Officially, a lot of low energy from these guys. You yeah. know what I was thinking? What? Um, and we we can get to it in a second. And I'm sorry because we're gonna do the top five. I, like we'll do the top five. We're gonna talk about. Oh, Jeremy's we have another. New we have York another trip. top five. Yeah. Yeah. We can get to that. We'll get to all of those things. I'm excited to hear that. Story and I was just one. thinking this today because I took off my jacket that I was wearing and I'm now wearing a shirt. Well, I was always wearing a shirt, but I took off my jacket that I was wearing. I'm wearing a shirt now. And because you hadn't seen my shirt yet today, Mm -hmm. it seems like I'm wearing a different outfit. That's true. Right? So it seems like this is a different day, but I'm wearing the same hat. But I also wear this hat a lot. You do? Which then, because it's a great hat, shout out to New Era. You go through like hat. comfortable hat. You go through like hat phases. I I do. Yeah, you'll have you'll wear this one a few times, and then you have like a green one that's a that's a minor league team. Yeah, yeah. And you wear that Colts one a lot. One. You'll the wear one the, with the horse the, on. And the trash panda. You wear the trash panda a good amount. You want to know what it is? And your Colts hat. Can I Colts fan? Because very Hilton. very dirty. That Colts hat. I don't yeah, know why it gets lint all over. over it. It yeah. doesn't come off. I don't know. That is the only hat I've ever had that has that issue. It's but really you have a new, strange. You have a new team now, don't you? Do I? That was a yeah. You said you had a new team because there was a guy who got signed. So this. Hmm. Hmm. It'll come to us. Hmm. So, anyways, you want to know why that is? <laughs> That'll sit with you. Yeah, it's yeah. because <laughs> gonna hit me today in the shower. Oh yeah, the, just text me, there and then go. we'll just redo this. I was think I, I was gonna I was gonna text you last night. Were you? Yeah, something had happened. We don't text enough. Yeah, but we don't text at all. I don't want to text Billy That's like at eleven thirty at night. I have home setting on my phone, so I probably won't get it. I will I will see it if I'm scrolling through and see it, but I had a thing set to my phone like notifications off after it was like pausing hour. notifications if you're ever looking for somebody to text at whatever hour i'm up working at mm. whatever you hour go. you want i got a text you, at 2 a.m what man, was, was it about just thinking about my cosmic significance and how <laughs> life is bullshit and nothing matters and i'll be editing a podcast that's a scary that's a scary text to get at two o'clock what, what, what was it about um <laughs> he doesn't remember, I don't remember. Okay. Don't about it. He doesn't so, remember. Yeah. <laughs> I'll t- I'll tell you the hat thing to answer your hat question. It's mm-hmm. usually because what will happen is is I will get in my car and I'll take off my hat and I'll put it in the passenger seat or the back seat and then I'll get in rush the next day and then my hair is a mess and I'm scrambling around and I'm like I need a hat, I need a hat. Boom, there is the same hat I was wearing the day before. So I'll have like a rotation of like three or four hats and it's just the hats that are in my car. Mm -hmm. And if not, car hats, if I don't have a car hat in my car at the time, it will happen. What happened to me this past weekend, I went to a Marlins game. I didn't have a hat and it was like, I felt naked. Do you have (laughs) to wear a hat at a Marlins game? No, I just always have a hat on and I had, and it's one of those weird things where I washed my hair, but I didn't use conditioner. So my hair was like weird. And I was like, Mm -hmm. I'll just put on a hat. Not a big deal. Does it matter? I have a hat question. Yeah. I wear hats pretty often as well, but I, I noticed You're a dad hat guy, right? I am a dad hat guy. Yeah. A dad joke guy, dad hat guy. Just not, not a, dad. a dad. Pretty soon uh, to be a dad bod guy. Already a dad bod yeah, guy. There you go. Let's be yeah. real. He just wanted to be nice. Though. No, we're all headed there. Mm, I'm no, already headed. No, yeah, yeah. Nonetheless, no, uh, with hats, for me, <laughs> if I wear a hat for, for too long, I feel like it, it gets itchy or I feel like I don't actually want to be wearing the hat. I'm what? wearing the hat 
purely for for either the style of it yeah. or I'm going out somewhere well, with their uh, son or whatever. Yeah. So are you guys the same as I am, which is like the moment I get in a car, I'm taking that hat off and putting it on the passenger seat. Or no. are you I'm just wearing the hat all day until no, I, get home no, and I don't I, notice it. I take it off in the car. I okay. usually take it off in the car because my head hits the top of the ceiling. So if I take off oh, the hat, okay, I have like an extra. No, it's big not guy, a dude. huge guy. Okay. Lemon, yes, Lemon that's Yama what it is. I'm here, so big. Look at me, Lou. Yeah. He's got do you have look different the sunroof of his car. Do you have to, I don't have a. I've never had a sunroof. I wish. Dude, remember when we were gonna do the sunroof on that old Mercedes? We should do it to your car. Oh yeah, I forgot when we were. Did at, you, do you know about this, Mike? No. No. We were. Oh. We, okay. So yeah. we were. This is before both. Me this and is Jeremy's great. Time. <laughs> you don't know this story either. It's a great story. So we were we were in Austin, South by Southwest, and we were at a restaurant with like everyone in the company, which just made this story even worse. So we were at a restaurant with everybody in the company. And like, we, I mean, we did not hang out socially, not that we do now, but like we hadn't hung out much or like really. So we're just at the table, just like, just just started like, felt like, you know, a couple months before. So like, we're all just getting to know each other. So we're at this table at some fancy restaurant in Austin that they reserved like, cause there's like 30 people there. They reserved like a whole section in the, in the restaurant. And it's like a Japanese barbecue place. It was actually pretty good. I don't remember what we were eating, but I know that somehow we got into, I think like Lewis's grandfather, someone's it's Danny's grandfather, Danny's grandfather was selling his old Mercedes. Um, it was like a 1996 Mercedes or something like it was that. Like 1991 or something. And then like old Tony and his brother, someone wanted to buy the car. And one thing led to another. And we started talking about how we could install a sunroof on this car if we wanted to. One of the questions I had was, does it have a sunroof? And then he's like, no, it doesn't have a sunroof. And then I was like, all right, we can make a sunroof in the car. And And now it became me and Billy's obsession. Naturally, he thought he could knew how to make the sunroof. And then we were talking about like, is this one of those old Mercedes that has the windshield wipers on the headlights or Mm -hmm. does it not have that? What do we do with that? It was like a whole thing. Did you guys ever own a car? Well, I guess it's like automatically eliminates these two, but my first car ever was an old BMW and it had a crank sunroof huh no, yeah never it, it was a bmw sunroof. yeah was never had anything crank like that but sun- i love the crank, crank windows yeah it was a crank sunroof so you know wow. i i never really used it but you would have to crank what up in the year ceiling was that? a 1986 like 325i or something oh like that yeah. did you get it just because it was a bmw no it was my aunt's hand-me-down oh okay yeah so but it was what uh, year is this by the way i want to say 80 i think it was an 85 or no, no, no but what year did you get oh 2000 you inherited it 2000 Two, so uh, you're talking about it's a 16 year old yeah i was already car. old yeah at the time yeah and it had Damn. been ravaged by kids she had two kids my two baby cousins and it had like leather torn and oh, then it had babies? like a yeah and then it had a, a hood yeah. that popped open like this and uh when i would drive on the highway it would pop up i can't <laughs> help but think that if i were in your situation every single time i used that sunroof i would look at everybody in the car and go let's get crunk jeez louise I don't even know if no, that, that was sound. that wasn't even the right joke. It wasn't even the right joke. It was just let's crank it up. I don't even. I, oh, I, so I, lo- I loaded a bunch of new you know. sounds mm-hmm. because because Billy had said one day that this is our own show, Mystery Crane should have its own sound. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah. So so I start. Job, so I'm Billy. like, you know, he's right. So then I started ABP. thinking, and then I already missed one because I have one for every story. What's going time. on with you today? You like you're forgetting things. Yeah, you have a story. You don't know what what's happening. I'm old. Well, this is brand new. So like when you guys are going to say a story, there's a story. This is a very interesting story. Those Ooh. are those even labeled? I just see white squares. Yeah, they're they're, they're labeled. See, this is you guys. They go like, oh, and then there was a sunroof, Danny. Yeah, it's it's labeled, but it's very. Small. We ended up not doing it, by the way. Yeah, to, well, to tie a loop um, on yeah. that story, we never put the sunroof. <laughs> Surprise! On the we did not buy yeah. Danny's grandfather's thirty-year-old. Bob year thought old we did. Car. Remember, Bob was like, "Oh, you guys are gonna do that?" And then me and oh, you, Bob would have course, had it figured out. Of course, yeah. me and I miss Bob. Me and Billy were trying to tell Bob how we were gonna do it with a saw and then sawing the thing and then yeah. welding it together. It was almost like a submarine hatch. Yeah, like you know. Wow. <laughs> wow. Too yeah. soon. Too soon. Yeah. So, anyways, Sorry. back to back to the clothes for a second, unless you guys want what to clothes? talk more. So we were, I was saying how I took off oh, my right, thing, right, but right. I I still wear the same hat. It occurred to me the other day because I don't know if so, some of you know this, but sometimes we record things, and it's not Shh. like like today's not Saturday on the DraftKings Shh, network. Sh- 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 that's crazy, don't right? Say that. uh, that's crazy. But this is what I was thinking, right? What if I became like a cartoon character where I just wore the same outfit every day. <laughs> And then you would never know what was live and what wasn't. Like, what if I or we just committed to, we're just going to have a look 
and we will all get like five of the same outfit and that's just what we wear like a mystery crate uniform yeah like every I, time we go no just just like that's Levitard one of the show. sounds that made it yeah of i'm course. just i'm Absolutely. just noticing that when tony's talking and i hit that's crazy you don't really know if it's him or not like yeah. he could just say that naturally so this might have to get the axe that's crazy yeah. that's crazy <laughs> but we should just every day and i'm not trying to implement a uniform it could be whatever you want to wear but like it could be monday october 1st or it could be like friday September 8th or, you know, July, whatever. You know what I mean? So and it's like having a school uniform, except you get to choose your own. What it is. I yes. Love everybody has their own school uniform and then no one can ever complain about this was taped. This was like, look at them. They're wearing well, the same we thing just from like, Monday. We can just wear like all black every day, right? Like yeah. everybody wears a black t-shirt, same black t-shirt every day. Yeah, no, I no. like black. I like the only thing about wearing all black is if you go to the wrong place, you look like staff. You know, I mean, like, yeah, like if you wear all black and you go to like the wrong restaurant, people start asking you to like bust their tables or an all white. Like you go to the Cheesecake to you? Factory, it's all white. Yes. That's happened to you. So. So, yeah. So my girlfriend likes to think that all black is style and then we'll go to like concerts and then she looks like a security guard. <laughs> likes to think. Yeah. Woof. All black. All black is always style. Yeah, all yeah, black. It's, it's a style, but it's not like something special. Not a lot of thought put into it, in my opinion. Oh. You what know, it's, name, name is, okay so walk us through no, what style is no, in your I'm, I'm opinion i'm saying if you if you want to wear all black that's fine but like it's not anything special it's like to me it's what i wear when i don't want to think about what i'm wearing ron mcgill was on earlier this week and he was at a photo shoot and he was wearing all black fire look by the way from it's, it's not a bad look it's, it's just look. like it's a default you know, like what do like, you think about the all black suit slimming all you, black suit looks slimming you think one. it's lazy it gives you a little mysterious yeah it's a little lazy huh like i think it's elevated part. No, the all black look is, is elevated. It, look, it looks nice if you pull it off and it's clean, but it needs it's like a elegante. little elegante. Yeah, it needs like a little no. pizzazz. What do you mean no? Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, know? but you were dressed like a fool at the NBA thing. You're wearing all black, that turtleneck with the thing. Weren't you in all black? No, it was a navy suit, a navy or like a trench coat. Over. But the problem is, it was also 22 degrees outside. Yeah, so I had to wear. I, I like that look. I just didn't like the turtleneck, but the, I'm just a no turtleneck guy. Yeah, that's, that's cool. just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, but that's your that's your flavor. Yeah, it's fine. But I thought I thought you looked good. I just I just didn't like the turtleneck. It seemed can I can I we're friends. Mm. It seems a little you're trying a little too much. You know what I mean? Like By you're going to NBA. Neck? No, because you're going to like NBA All Star and there's like let have me. Have you been to NBA All Star? Be, no. Everybody tries. That's true. You it's don't a have fashion. To. I'm, I, but I'm telling you because I've been to two of them. It's like the fashion <sighs> peak of the NBA. Everybody's trying. But to you're do not something in the NBA. Different. Okay, Billy, but I'm there as media. He is okay. 10 day Tony. Come on. That's true. Real Hoopers now. Only if they gave me a chance. Hmm. All right, so we're going to get back to uh, to Jeremy's story in a second about his New York trip. Uh, I'm very excited for that. But as I was saying earlier and setting the mood for the show earlier with a little bit of a somber tone, um, again, I got tossed. I thought I was wrong. But, you know, sometimes when, when baseball managers argue with umpires, they think they're right and they're wrong or whatever. But I had another thing that uh, I, I didn't want it to be a top five. It was more of like a list of things to not get me started on. So I don't know if you want to do it in top five order or if you want me to go through them one by one or if I say one and then we talk about it and then go to another one. Go five to one. What do you one. want me to get started on? Do, go five, to, list you go five to, to one on. and then I'm going to hit the Owen Third, But Wilson. look, as you wow. see, there's no numbers. It is just like... Okay, so put in what you believe is number five. Okay. Okay, and then I'll give you the Owen Wilson wow and that'll be the fanfare. So we don't even have fanfare on the show. Like good production. I We're I figuring it out. I haven't found can we, one. Can we yeah. go through? Yeah. Yes. Let's go through, go through what the we sounds. have. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So from earlier this week, we have Dan uh, start sarcastically laughing. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I don't if that's know what I'm going to use. That it's no. Yeah, it's I think not he's crying. No, there. this is the crying. <laughs> that is crying. That's wow. the crying. Not fanfare though. Uh, no. Then we have uh, Jack Nicholson. You can't handle the truth. Is that just you found that on the internet? Yeah, just something I think we can use at some moment. Okay. Then we have Tony. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. There you go. Then we, then we have uh, whenever we're surprised by something. Classic. Classic. Okay. Oh, that's a squirrel. Then we have this is going to be our, our Hakeem Nix laugh. <laughs> that's just Seth Rogen being Seth Rogen. Oh, uh, I, this, I was trying to figure out who it was. Around it's here. Seth Rogen. Then this is. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, this is for every time Tony. Like a meme show. Yeah. Basically, every time Tony talks. You sound insane. There's that one. Hmm. Uh, then we have Billy saying. Nailed it. Nailed it. You like that one? Yeah. <laughs> Story time I already played. This one's also for Billy. Family. Ooh, I like that one. Yeah, this is for yeah. every time. We'll do that either, but I don't care. <laughs> this is for every time somebody uh, stumbles. English, mother Do you speak it? I don't know about Sometimes that. I don't. Sometimes. Then Roy. In your butt. Put the boogie in your butt. 
Yeah. What? Uh, no, I no, wasn't here, here for, for that. that one. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wasn't here for that. I don't know what's that going on. That was the Carry the Boats show the other day. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then we have... This is madness! Uh, and then for every time Tony thinks the Egyptians have Wi-Fi. That's uh, a good one. Like and then we one. have a classic that doesn't get used literally or whatever. Or enough on the show. Yeah, yeah, thank you. My God! Just added yeah, that that's there. That's the one I'm... So we don't really have one for fanfare, though. No, no. that's why I'm going to do Owen Wilson. No. Okay. Yeah. Just this one time. All right. So here's the first thing to not get me started on. The iPad turn at a restaurant or a bistro or a coffee shop for tipping. Like, what wow. are we doing? What are we doing here? You didn't do anything. Wow. <laughs> you didn't do anything. You took my order. I could do the same thing if there was an iPad next to me. So when you turn it around and well, it's they like have, have 37% around. tip, 47% tip or 87% tip. I'm just going to click custom. Would you prefer that you walk around to the register to the other side and then you choose the tip? Or do you, you would prefer that they don't ask them for a tip? There you go. Like. That's what that really what the problem is here. I would prefer the per, me. I, I want to see where my tip is going. Right. So if I want to tip, I'm not going to tip the 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 register person. I want to tip the person that's actually uh, making. They split those tips. They split them. But yeah. you didn't do anything. I, They're doing all the work. Can I tell you an experience that I had and I'm not going to say where? Uh, because I don't want you can tell me off camera. I don't want the person to get in trouble. Not that you'd be able to find the exact person, but I went to an event and recently I not recently. Hmm. I went to an event and I paid for something with credit card and the person who sold me the food, it was a food item, flat out told me like said like, hey, you want to leave a tip? You should give us cash because we don't get any of the money that goes tipped in that thing. Which I was like, that is like one. Where does it go? I don't know. But it, it, good for them. I felt, well, it was also very direct, yeah. which it was like, well, I need to now hand you cash. Very but, sus, right. really. Do you but, have Bana in that situation to actually give money? A hundred percent. I don't. Same. Yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, okay. But here's the thing is that I only had like a $10 bill. So they You're got a $10 that. tip no. on something Ooh, that costs no not that much. You, know, you didn't that, need to ask for cash? back since they've been asking for you cash have, all you day. Change? You got change? Oh, yeah. I do that all the time, yeah. dude. No, well, I'll ask, I can ask for that. I can't. Like a valet Although person? I normally don't. I, I, I really can't. like to try to yeah, make sure that I have You ask valets for, for money back? If I have, like, if I have like a 20. Yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna, although I have no, got a I'm not going to lie. Hit the sound. That's crazy. This one? Yeah. Wow. No. Not that one. That's crazy. You give a valet person 20 bucks if that's all you have. I have cash. They have mad cash. I Be like, feel hey, bad saying give, give me 15 me back. back. That's I I I don't I have something That's in great. me that I I don't. <laughs> I'm actually I'm the same way. I've just recently like forced myself to start doing that because it's I don't want to give away nice. 20s all the time. <laughs> Dude, 20 bucks for you to bring my car around? I saw no. it. Like I could have gotten the valet, the valet was keys. only 15, bro. <laughs> it, it, there's a there's a Mulaney bit about it, but I actually the other day had the experience of of someone asking me if I wanted a rewards card somewhere and me like profusely apologizing for not accepting their rewards card. And I absolutely have signed you up guys. for rewards cards because I felt bad just because they asked me. Hmm. That's crazy. That, that is, is that because that's the, now we're playing with credit score. <laughs> no, 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 exactly. no, 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 no. Nothing like that. You're so like, no, no. like, talking about the like I, 10 stamps yeah, gets you a like free like, coffee like, type I, shit. Like yeah. at H&M, it's like, yeah. oh, hey, if you, if you, you get 10% off, yeah, yeah, it'll, it'll eventually give you. No, I did. I don't want to tell you my email. I used to, I right. No, this is the problem. My email is full. Of junk, you don't from you don't, all of these. You don't have another. You don't have an email, email just yeah. for that. Like I have an email that just takes my crap. Yeah, yeah. junk email. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what Maybe I have. I'll start. Mm -hmm. Metal Arc email? No, no not that. No, definitely no, not that that's one. A, that's, that's a business one. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, okay. so yeah, so it for me, I don't like when when you really haven't done anything, but you're asking me to give you money for. Oh, it. you must hate buying concert tickets. Then. So, but okay, well, here's the thing though. This is this has made it easier for you where you don't ever have to do math. Like you don't get a printed out receipt anymore where you do things, but now you're like, I have to tip for everything. So I wouldn't have given you a tip where now I am. No, I think it's more of like- They're trying to shame you're you. Try no, 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 no. Yeah. It's that- I don't think it's them necessarily. You give me I think percentages it's just, that I would never tip. I think it's the system. You know what I mean? Like the system is 20, set up- 25% is crazy. I'm not going to give well, you 25%. That's, I, so I saw a story that, because those things are preset, right? right? Like the three options. Yes. And they purposely put it higher so you tip more. So it'll be like 18, 20, 25 instead of like 15, 18, exactly. 20. Yeah. How about I'm going to tip you what Buddy, your service If was. I see that, it's double zero and a sign and that's it. No, I mean, I usually get wow. like a couple bucks for like a I'll barista put a or something. Yeah, I will put never, custom. I've never, <laughs> I've never done custom and I will always the, do at the very least the middle one, if not the highest one. Oh my God. That's crazy. <laughs>
You know the thing that's weird about it? I've never, I've never tipped less than 20%. Ever. I've never, I have never, never tipped less than 20%. Ever. The thing is, the thing it's not because I have money. It, no, but you just, I know you called me rich. I'm not. I know Spanish. No, but the, the thing is, though, is that like, you, when you see the numbers, it's like, okay, well, like, this is like 22% is like 40 cents more than 20. Like, why not just 22 well, yeah, well, and 25 is like, okay, it's like, 70 cents more like i'll just do that i tip by i calculate 20 percent, and then i because i'm a weirdo maybe it's a ocd thing or something but i, I like to round up and have an even number at, once i'm done giving the tips the, the charity the roundup for charity gets me no i don't it's I, gets me every I, see, ironically That's, i don't do that it's a i don't do that yeah. i actually kind of scam. agree with tony on this one got it it's an absolute scam. the major the major corporations on charities on stuff like that like if it's a local restaurant that has like a local charity then i believe in it but when it's like oh man i, I don't want to i don't want to name drop a charity, charity can i, can I like, say if you don't want to say what? it and tell me if this is where you're headed what i've heard is that a lot of these corporations have that money designated already and what you're really doing mm -hmm. is you're donating to, to pay it off to you're pay re off you're that them amount you're yeah. reimbursing them that's yeah. why i don't give the anybody major, major corporations yeah. the smaller ones where you have like boutique shops that have whatever charity that's like that'll do that's can, can i tell you something that i've always wondered about in this same vein is have you ever gone to like a pet store or like a toy store or something and it's like around holiday time and you go and you buy something and they're like hey would you like to pay three dollars for you know xyz and then this toy will then be donated to whatever and then you pay the BS. money and then they grab the stuffed animal and then they go and they put it in a box and they're like okay this is going away to toys for tots or whatever right have you ever because i i fall for that too but then i also think like but what's to stop them from just moving moving those it back things right back <laughs> the, as, hold on at the end of the, the day <laughs> i don't back. i don't mean to burst your bubble the guy at the end of the day that closes takes all of it back and puts it right back on the shelf where they took it that's from. what i'm asking if they do that they you do you think that they do that of course you know that's not nice you know you know, what, you know what annoys me like when they have these promotions where like Oh, if this guy hits this many home runs, then we'll donate three hundred thousand. Hey, how about you just donate three hundred thousand and mm. that's it? Be done with it. Wow! Like, you know, don't make it dependent on somebody else's achievement. Look at this, man! Five topics we've only discussed one so far. I know we're on cooking. your top five. Dan didn't want to get ready for number two. Yeah, sure. Well, <laughs> isn't this four? Four, four yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, other people's pets. Don't wow. get me started. I don't care. I don't care about your pet. Mm, I don't know about this. No, no, it's true. Like, I've seen, care, I've seen it, Billy's dog multiple times on Zoom. And, uh, that's great. I don't yeah, I don't really, really care about Yeah, he's always in the background dog, during Gobble Jeremy's Football. cat. It's stuck in the roof. But Jeremy, I'm you not, got a cat? Dude, thanks so much for bringing Jeremy's up Jeremy's a cat? I, I, like, oh. I, don't, I don't really care. Okay, but... Like are, the dogs that were here the other day. I don't really care. That was weird. I, I, it's I a miracle that they went as well as I don't care about your cat. I don't care about your pictures of your cats or your dogs. I don't care. Jessica's dog was very well behaved. Sure. Honestly, that was amazing. Okay. Yeah, very well behaved dog. There the were some is, scratches on the leather couch. There still are some scratches on on a very expensive brand new leather I, couch. I've been I've been kind of joking with Kugler, and it hasn't taken off. But like, did, I was did joking. he think it was funny? Because nah, he doesn't think anything funny. funny. He doesn't yeah. think yeah. anything. So we were we were sitting on that leather couch, and we saw kind of like the the <laughs> claw marks of the dog like on the couch. And I was like, you should, you should like have someone send an invoice to Jessica and say that the dog ruined the couch. <laughs> and then the other day, he like on the the giant like work table that they have over there in the other room. I guess he made some sort of sign for some bit that I wasn't here for, and he did it in Sharpie, and it went straight through Dude. onto the table. Oh, he's so about that. on so the, the wooden table is, is, and I was like, so how are you going to pay to? To fix this table and he's like blah, blah, blah. it's like you should definitely pay for it. just like him. you know how we you know how we go and pitch coog's like ideas for shows i pitched Wh him one yesterday what if we pitch him a show where it's kind of like shark tank but it's him and people are just trying to make him laugh and he just never laughs and you don't yeah yeah and then he's just there like canceled after one episode he's like eh, nah. Not that funny. What did he drop today when we were talking about today? We were in the other room and you know, he just drops in things today. He, he just dropped in very casually. You know, I go to the same orthodontist as Vanna White. And I was like, what? Uh, he's he's a big look at me, Louis. In Houston. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. In Houston, not even L.A. In Houston. <laughs> it was my favorite. H-Town, hold it down. So, yeah, I don't care about your pets. I just don't. Just you know, in general? Or yeah. Like, like you have them. Great for you. No, like, I, I kind of feel the same about like baby pictures. Yeah, you, yeah. It's, they're interchangeable. Yeah, the hey, yeah. you took pictures, great. Yeah, the, I don't care. The the baby picture avalanche when the kid is born. I'm like, gonna promise not to do that whenever I have a. But kid. are people no. coming up to you showing you these pictures? Or, no, or? but it's like, oh, look at my dog. He's funny. He's wearing a hat, and I'm like, ah, eh, okay. 
Yeah, it's I just, can wear a hat. I'm Tony. No, like <laughs> Jeremy's cat got stuck in the ceiling. Okay. What? Get did him that, out. Did that happen? It, I mean, it did happen. How did yeah. your cat get stuck in the ceiling? Uh, so our house is falling apart. Oh. Um, in a lot of ways. Not we don't own it, so it's cool. Um, mm-hmm. but there's uh a wooden plank above the closet that that seems unsafe. Yeah, that technically blocks from the attic. Got it. Uh, and so our cat figured out that if he climbed up all of the clothes and then pushed he a little wood into the attic, wooden plank, yeah, he can get in the attic. Never had done it. We've lived there for two years. All of a sudden decides to walk by the closet, saw him poking his head down. As soon as he saw me, ran into the attic. We spent mm, two and a half hours starting at one in the morning trying to get him with cat food with treats you gotta, and eventually, let him, you gotta let him hang out there at that point and ended up well i just my fear pet owner my fear was that he I'm would run out and there would be That's like terrible. a hole in the, somewhere else that he or would there's escape something the house. in there or you have exactly. some, you have something living in the attic yes. that's gonna yeah, kill the yeah. cat. There yeah. could be raccoons, could be a rat anything. There. Anything could be in there. Snake yeah. gets in there somehow. Really scared me. Yeah, it was really scary. Don't so, don't go into your attic. You don't want to know what's up there. Attic. We ended up getting you a laser pointer, anything. and he's so stupid. He's a cat. <laughs> so we got him with the did laser pointer. Did he know this story, or he just was guessing? No, he did. No, I knew the story. So this is your way of telling him I didn't care about that story when you shared that with me. No, no, the story's fine. I just don't care about the cat. All right, number three. Hmm. Something that was set up to be a good thing but i think is now a bad thing and i remember when you didn't have this and it didn't matter what your rating was you would get picked up no matter what i'm talking about uber ratings Mm. wow don't get me started on uber ratings don't get me started i have a question this is about uber ratings no this is a very different time because you said that you have a rating and you got picked up or whatever and this is like a different thing. Jeremy, are you aware that there used to be a website called hotornot.com? I am aware. Were you ever on that or no? I was he would have been young, too young. He would have been like 10. To really have gone on yeah. Hot or Not. I think, I think Hot I or Not. I knew it existed. You don't? But I'm, he would have been, I'm kind of too young have been to know. all about it. He would have been, been a little too young too. Tony would have been I, all I, I'm about telling it. You, I, yeah, I, I mean, Facebook started as essentially as, Hot or Not. Correct. So like Hot or Not was before that. So right. that would have been like 2001. This was Guy, almost was like a Tinder. That, I was in like, fifth grade. You could, I mean, I don't, I don't have Tinder, but I, from what I understand, it's basically like that, but you wouldn't be able to communicate with each other. Yeah, like you well, just get a picture and like Hot, but you couldn't, not. You couldn't match either. It and was that was like the whole thing. You, just, you couldn't communicate with each other. No, you couldn't. It was just like a comparison tool, comparison game. Horrible. Yeah. it's Not the best. Anyway. So hot or not? So, so Uber, Uber ratings. Uber ratings. So I want everybody to go on their app right now and check their Uber rating. Mm. But you, you never drove for Uber, right? Did you? Yeah, I did both. So mm, I no, don't know. I, you I did not. what? Uber and Lyft? Uh, I never did Lyft. I did Uber. I was getting over a breakup at the time, and it was like I can stay home and be sad, or, or I can drive. I can go make money and listen yeah. to sad playlists. And basically, was bleeding love on your playlist? I'm sure it was at a did time. Did you like it? Um. Yeah. Then it was better because it wasn't a lot of people using it yeah so you'd only get people that were like tech savvy and they wouldn't really like be there the whole head and shit so like i would only and i would only do it between like six in the afternoon and midnight i don't want anybody in my car on the way home from the club mm. i only wanted them yeah going getting, a lot of bars on the club exactly on the so way home from the club I, I, like, I think i picked up a couple like uh, college kids that had pre-game but they still like were very respectful we're trying to go yeah. Yeah. yeah so after i was like i'm not picking up anybody at two in the morning so back in the day when uber was first created and everybody at home Please look at your Uber rating as well with us. Um, back in the day, you didn't have the rating. It was just like, all right, I'm going to pick you up because you called for an Uber. And like, no matter what, I'm going to go get you. And I get it has its it good and like bad. Sounds like a bad rating. Jeremy. No, no, I don't. I have <laughs> I have a good rating. It used to be bad, though, but it wasn't my fault. Mm. It's ne- it's ne- I've learned that it's <laughs> never the person's fault when they have a bad well, rating. They always, I booked it for my friend. No. We did a group chair. My friend did this. It's always someone's friend is why they have a bad rating. Always. Mm-hmm. Well, it always. is. It is a friend. Uh, that, there you go. But you, you know, know your Uber and Uber each is like the same rating. I just learned is that. Is it really? That, yeah. I was told that. It so, can't be. That's like also totally tip, different. Also, tipping things, on the yeah. Uber Eats, I, that was part of the, the tipping situation oh, too. Boy. Yeah. They they ask for some crazy numbers sometimes where it's like, oh, tip, great tipper, $14. And I'm like, guys, what would the guy it's have, across the street. What I can would, go pick it up. What would the guy have to do to get a good sure. tip? I, I like, tip based on on the the drive time. My, mine is very low bar. If my food gets there hot, you're going to tip. I tip prior, you, though. Yeah. Do you ever tip. not tip? Uh, very rarely. As someone who did it, I'm surprised. If I if I like 
did oh, it, for, I for, would be But you never did everybody. Uber Eats, though. You just No, did no, Uber. I just did driving. But still, right. it's you yeah. know kind of what a the pain struggle yeah. it is. No, no, I mean, the thing is, and now I've experienced so many bad Ubers, that when an Uber is good, I do feel inclined to tip. Right. Like, at the beginning, when it were all, like, mediocre, then you're not going to get anything. Exactly. Yeah. But that was the good, the, the beautiful back in my day of, like, back in my day, they would just pick me up. The guy was an asshole. He mm-hmm. would drop me off. And that was it. And I just had a bad Uber trip. That well, was be- it. Okay. Before that was the appeal of Uber, right? Is there was no tipping. It was like, Correct. this is well, the price. Well, it Correct. Was, yeah, there was no tipping and it was just much easier than getting a cab. Yeah. Because like you want everything at the tip of your cell phone. You don't want to have to. And work. also when you live in the suburbs, there are no cabs. Yeah. Well, there was also no Ubers back then. Right. So right. like I would, if I would pick somebody up like in the Grove and they lived in Color Bay, which is for people not from Miami, it's like 40 minutes south of uh, the city of Miami. It would you would get out there and then there was no rides. So right. you're basically coming out there and driving back by yourself. Now exactly. they're all everywhere, you know. So all right, let's go around. Mike, what's your Uber rating? Uh, four point nine. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know why. Yeah, because, your friend. No, <laughs> Billy. Mine's four point nine two. Yeah, but I I I, I, I think I know that I think I know the ride that caused it. Four point nine six. Yeah, that's a really good one. I used to be a five for the longest time. No, me too. So I, I'm, I'm actually really upset right now because the last time I checked, now this is a couple years ago, but the last time I checked, I was five. Same, same. Yeah, so, and then so mine went down. Happened. Mine went down so, to like a four point eight. The other thing is, is that I don't really use it that much. I am always like, if I'm with my wife, like she'll get the Uber. Like, so I don't have that many rides. So like, just one bad thing throws it all it's off. like your credit score you I, do one thing well, all of a sudden your credit score fa- drops 50 points you're like i didn't even what, it's what a law I, it's a law of averages like that's just how it's how it works well yeah correct but, but the still, thing is is mine's 4.82 i'm like perplexed why so am i at a 4.9 but i'll that, tell you why like i get in i don't talk like what what do you want from me i do nothing i do well, exactly what a passenger does no, all it yeah. is is you're base you're basing your rating on me whether i tipped you or not what was yours as a driver and that's all it turned into i don't that's of course what i think that they i don't think that they have that information before they give you yeah they have yeah because that that would be obviously everybody will rate you back an instant rating before you find out But like mike said you get in you say hi you're cordial you're normal they're taking you to the airport you're talking whatever or you're not talking whatever the person wants to do when they're driving and then you get dropped off and you get a three. Okay, look, like, well, if, if you go to your what? trips and you go to rides, it will show you all the ones where you got five stars. Really? And then it will show you where the bad one was. Where the, I guess. Like, oh, it, hold up. Let wow. me, if it's showing me the say five it again, stars. Say it again. Okay, where can if, I find So this? you go, you open up your Uber app and uh-huh. then you go to trips. trips. And then I don't that? have trips. Yeah, this is a really good because I have you I updated your go, Yeah, go to home. Oh, trips. I see Go to account on the bottom and then trips. So obviously, no rating doesn't affect it. Correct. Yeah, but now like, well, I doesn't see trips. Oh, there's trips. Yeah. I, I has to have been when I was in Washington. I'm only seeing. I'm only seeing five stars. So Same. when? So Me when too. did this happen? So exactly. This has to have been when I was in Washington. I'm telling you, that's what it was because the person got lost picking ratings? me up from a monument. It's, it's, it's on the bottom. Deal. See the stars. There's like stars on the bottom of your trips. Maybe oh, the ones that is. don't have stars aren't ratings. That was a bad rating, and they don't want. Maybe they to only know. show you the fives. Maybe. Yeah, because I'm only seeing fives. But but here, so there's one that I I went from. From somewhere in the Grove to somewhere in Brickell. The hell is Richardson? And it was, and it's nothing. There's no, there's no rating. Then it must not have been a rating. That's what I'm saying. Because you don't, you don't rate every time. Why are we talking about this? Because Tony's number three thing was uh, tips on no. No, my point is. Oh, right here. The rating stars. What was it? What'd you do? I don't know. Uh, 429, 2017. You see how this th- there's five stars, but three of them are lit up and two are like gray. So what did I do to that guy? So is, hold on. This is what your rating is or what you rated them? It must be, I don't know. I found my four star. What was it? It was in Orlando. Yeah. In I have one in Orlando. 2019. Always in that Orlando. That one sucked. Yeah. Rated Brutal. three stars. With, I don't know. So the reason why I went down from the you five have to be or a whatever, real like POS trip, to get a three. Uber trip with Harold. Hmm. How did I do to Harold? Oh, you know what? I found a three star one right here. Where was it? <laughs> Washington. I told you. I knew it was in Washington. <laughs> you nailed it. <laughs> I knew it was in Washington. Wow. I knew it. So we went out as a as a group of friends. He was so I, happy. He's like, I knew it was yeah, watching. But I'm also he had upset. <laughs> I'm so upset about this. A friend of mine threw not... up in the Uber. <laughs> a pool. And, and they gave me a zero. Well, I, th- a pool. That I, someone else's bad behavior could be responsible That's for That's what this. I'm saying. And it's not just me saying that. That's what I was trying to tell you right now. No, I'm telling you that you're wrong, though, and I'm right. Evil cat. Dog. Dog. There's you know two, what it was? Is that two minutes left. <laughs> these people got these people got lost trying to pick us up from a monument and kept driving oh, they blamed it on you? over and over again. I maybe. Hey, and, buddy, it's your fault. You're driving. I'm not. No, well, I don't. I, I don't come at them that way. You know what happened to me when I was at? Super uh, what would you Bowl tell them right now? In Arizona, I walked like three blocks down the street because some streets got blocked off. I was like, I can't get to you. I'm like, I'll find you. Just wait right there. I'll find you. You told him that. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I went. I did the same. I'm like, I'm going to walk somewhere that. else where it's easier for you to get me. Yeah. yeah Got to expense that one. Yeah. Anyway. How about the bird? You going to expense the bird yet? I or need no? to. I have those receipts. I'm going to have to go back. You have, you actually have the physical receipts. You have like on, on your email. I think I have my email. You went to Word, Whataburger that trip? and didn't. That wasn't going to be expensed. I, I know, but you didn't take us. The, so me and Billy and a whole bunch of people were like, oh, we got to go to Whataburger. Yeah, yeah, we got to go to Whataburger. It's going to be awesome. Such a good time. You missed out. I was. I came when you guys got back, I think. He had just gotten here. Bond. I was here. I wasn't yeah. invited. Created bonds for life. Billy was took it upon himself. Danny almost died. Yeah. False. I was there for False. Or already you're starting off Did wrong. Danny almost died? That's true. What you're, that's what I'm that's saying. What I'm saying. What you're about yeah. to say is he, not true. He, he went... Very secretly, very not quietly. What was that? Truth. Very was secretly. That? No, no, that's not what you said. Not the truth. Secret, that's, not, that's not what you said. English, mother secretly. Do you speak it? Yeah, that's not what you said. Yeah. Secretly. That's secretly. That's not what happened. <laughs> very secretly, very nope. quietly. Nope. By himself. Nope. Took the aforementioned bird. That drove to What's a Burger. What a Burger. That's true. Fuck. English, mother. Do you speak it? Yeah, 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 it did. <laughs> drive, oh, okay. drove, took it's the okay. bird over to What a Burger, ate, and then came back and was like, Mm, guys, it was so good. It, I, no, it I didn't do so that. Good. That's not true either. That's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not true either. So what is true? What I actually said was, I wasn't that impressed. Wow, I don't yeah. remember that. Actually. Well, what happened was is that we were there for like four days and the days were counting down. This was the second to last day. And I was like, we are never going to go to Whataburger because we're going to this other Peacock something restaurant and all these other things. It was like, well, I'm never going to get this burger. So I just got to do it on my own. There was a long line where they were at breakfast. So I just kept going. It was delicious. When you were like, he jumped on the bird. He jumped on the bird. I'm like, dude, is Billy flying all over Austin? Like, what is happening? I totally didn't think of that it's a scooter company named Bird. Yeah. And it, it finally hit me right. Lime? Well, no, or the scooter. But he kept saying the bird, the bird. I'm like, is this like a, like a. Like, like code? Yeah, for something that I don't know about that you guys are it riding is. around. I guess for in a way scooter. it is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, give me number two. All right, number two. People in the right lane who go straight instead of turning right. They get a red a light. Red light. Yeah. So wow. they're, they're they basically have stopped the yeah. moving traffic. They have stopped to go the moving straight. traffic to go straight in like the right hand they, they lane. They stop on a red light, turn. but you could also turn. But they stop. They're in the turn lane. Yeah. It's red. They're sitting there. Everybody else in the right lane is trying to make a right, and you're the only person but, there. But is it a lane that straight. goes straight and right? Yes. See, if it goes straight and right, then it's like oh whatever. No, it's not that but bad. you know the worst. If you're in the right lane. You're making a no, right. No, straight and right yep. and, and straight. deciding to go straight is worse because That's you have saying. the option right. to turn. If if you're just in a turn lane, you decide I'm not turning on to cut people off. You're just an idiot. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. But that makes me more upset because this lane is only for right turns where if it's straight and right. Agreed. Uh, but if it's straight and right and you have the second options, I see that left turn signal turns on, it's like, that's oh, brother, huh. get over a lane. You mm. knew it from six miles back that this is a right hand turn lane and a straight. That happens to me on 57th. The there's a 57th and one. there's many avenues bird and like 57th yeah there's one uh spot right near my house in fort lauderdale where there is one of those and i found myself that if i if i end up in in that lane and want to go straight i'll end up pulling so far out <laughs> into the road in so the that crosswalk can, so that people can go behind me because mm -hmm. i hate i just hate being that person that's blocked up an entire lane of people because i know how much it bothers me when i'm behind someone wanting to turn right know that i have the opportunity to but because somebody's just sitting there i can't go it's like they'll let anybody drive these days what yeah that's just that that's the you're t are you waiting for a sound i don't even know what to push Right here. That's crazy, you bro. You sound insane. Very good. How's this going? I that one, I don't know. That just kind of stopped. Here's yeah. the thing. Oh boy. It it's taking me a while to learn the layout here. It's yeah. really hard to see what's yeah, what. Yeah, it's like on super there. small, and I have good vision. Like, of course. I don't know. I know. I got I got to get better vision. What is? I've that? been thinking of. I want to get LASIK. LASIK. Yeah. My friend just yeah. got LASIK, no, and, and he you. said the next day it scares he was me. Fine. Oh yeah, of course. Laser on your I, eyeball. I had someone yeah, who just told me that thirty minutes later they walked out and they were like, "Oh, I can see." Yeah. Like what? How is that? I don't know. It freaks me out. The entire and concept of it freaks me out. Not covered by insurance. Yeah, I, yeah. I knew that. That's an out of pocket. Uh, four grand, I think you paid. What? Yeah. It's like I two wear grand glasses. It's like two grand. Well, they much rather just keep feeding you contacts until one day you just get tired of it and then they don't have to pay anything. Yeah. So I'm, I'm getting, I'm realizing that my vision is getting worse. Um, when I take off my glasses and I'm like, ooh, like I'm driving without my glasses and my right eye is just like really not good. So I'm like, I gotta, I gotta do something about it, but I'm tired of wearing glasses and I don't, I've never worn a contact before. Ever? Ever. Why? Really? I just haven't it's had it. It's always do you jarring. Not like the sensation? Yeah. No, I just, I've never tried. Like I've never. Mm. Billy with contacts throws me off when I see him. 
because I'm so used to him in glasses. Yeah. So then he shows up with contacts on, and it's like, like he did in Austin. Who the hell's this guy? Well, no, at Moss. At Moss, he showed up with contacts on. I used to uh, when I went to the eye doctor, I would go to the eye doctor, get my glasses, and I get like the year supply because they like oh, year supply like, of what contacts? Yeah, they show you like the savings, like this is what you save, all this stuff, right? And then it's like, well, I, I started realizing as I've been getting older, I've been using my contacts less and less, and just been wearing the glasses, and I realized like I can get by on like one box of each probably with how infrequently I'm wearing my contacts now. So that's what I started doing. No one cares about this. What is the other? The yeah. point, well, no. The point. The point being, I I wanted to get LASIK. What I'm, was I'm I'm nervous about it. What was the, don't be what nervous. Was the topic. The topic was people turning, turning the right, right lane. How, how, how did we get to LASIK? Yeah. Uh, I have no idea. No, that, I'm pretty sure that was you. We're gonna get to your story. Uh, oh yeah, about we can do eight that. minutes. By I really yeah, want to talk sure about that, that because it's kind of ridiculous we'll, we'll get yeah. to it we can get to it what the people turning right or not no, turning right going straight? no billy already knows the new york story so can, yeah yeah i think we all established that people who go in the right lane are we're in agreement. not turn right or so i feel i'm just do you to, think taylor's listening to us right now because i'm looking at him outside taylor's he's got looking a great, at something he's smiling and taylor's got a great um smile presence <laughs> yes, aura <laughs> yes all of that calves yes mm -hmm. um he's got a great it's got a great bit when it comes to airplanes and being in the uh exit row no. Let's get him in here, Taylor. No. If you're listening, come no, on in. Do you want to talk no. about it? Or he's no? just. He's what just, is his bit? It's not it's a, a great it's not bit. A bit. It's, it's a, a no, it's no. It's a, a good a, bit. It's a take. Basically, he no, wants don't, people don't, die. Don't, Wait, don't, no, don't, no, no, don't, don't, don't. I don't think he's gonna come in here. Yeah, he's gonna come, come, come on, Taylor. Oh, he's been waved in. This is exciting. All right, by me. Can't wait. He's going to Chicago this weekend. Chicago. I hope I hope not on his flight. Hot takes. Windy city. Are you going to Chicago, Taylor? Were you listening to what we were saying? You could hear. All right, always I'm always listening. listening. Is what he I like that. All right, Wazowski, just listen. Fucking stalker. Whoa, Whoa you dude. said Jeez, watch your language. <laughs> you turn on your mic right there, there with the is. button. There, there you go. go. Hey Taylor. Hello. So, you have a great bit when it comes to. Is it a bit? Yes, it's a bit, dude. It's just damn. It's not a bit because I actually see him doing this. Like, <laughs> okay, explain to us your exit row on an airplane bit. So I will always take the exit row, take the extra leg room, but. If an emergency went down, I am not helping anybody Wait. in the emergency row. And I, I, would be the first person out. I would be the first person out of the plane. Hold on a second. So you say yes to the emergency row, yes. but have he made has the zero intention of doing I, it. I have my AirPods in. I'm, I'm bobbing along. And then they ask you, will you we, be able, we willing, and capable to help you say we yes? We need verbal confirmation. I say, yes, I will. <laughs> but then I started thinking about this it. If, if No, there, there's if a name for people like this. wrong on the plane. An asshole. I would, it's, not even, it's not even that. I would just panic and freak out, and at that point, it's every man for themselves, and and I'm out of there. Listen, and you carry on. So when we down the slide, so out. when we last year when we did the safety class at the Clevelander, right? I had the same thought. Who did it? It was me, Kristen, Frankie. Didn't you get roped into doing and that too? No, no, everybody was signed up. Nobody went. It was just yeah. oh no, yours was a CPR. <laughs> class. Yeah, it was me. It was it's the same one. class. Me, oh, that Hildy, was a, that was a bad Kristen and me. Frankie, right? And I'm there thinking, man, I wonder if anything like this happens, I can jump into action and help somebody. A CPR Fat, thing or yeah. just, just no no it was, it was a bunch of that it was like how to use the machine like with the pads the for, yeah, yeah exactly and and how to like give CPR and I'm like I don't know if I can ever do this but I'll take the certification three weeks pass by boom I'm saving Greg Cody's life at Highlight that was different. you yeah. did not give him CPR yeah no I didn't give him CPR close, but, but I actually jumped into action to help him where everybody else was like giving him the stare I feel like now know? that Taylor has said this out loud for people to hear not just like in the confines of a bit now there's going to be a sense of guilt that God forbid ever and you're flying. Chicago He's gonna get on that plane, guys. <laughs> but like, there's oh, gonna be no. a little part guys. of you that's like, if there's an emergency on an airplane, there's probably not much you can do. <laughs> well, that, that's what that's I told Tony. That, that's what I told Tony. He's like, oh, <laughs> if the plane's crashing, Taylor will help. I'm like, buddy, that door's gonna be the least of his worries. <laughs> so I, I imagine something happening on the plane or the the side of the plane that Taylor's on, and everybody's kind of looking around to him and being like. Can you help? And then no. Taylor's just sitting there like, <laughs> no, I, nah, I told I you, help. I told nah, you, I'm someone good. else takes the door off and then Taylor's throwing his luggage first. He's like stopping kids. <laughs> Wait, hold on. And he's throwing his crap out and then he's jumping down the inflatable slide. Um, do they have parachutes on planes? Like commercial no. planes? <laughs> no. What? Do they have parachutes yeah, on no. commercial yes. planes? No, The thing don't. under your seat turns into a parachute. A flotation device. No, parachute. Sure. 
No, for real. Bob I asking, guarantee do you. you think have you ever have, watched a thing? Do you think they have a couple of parachutes on the plane just in case? No. Just in case. Because if you can't jump out from that altitude. If there's an emergency. But what if you're flying lower? No, exactly. If there's an emergency, they say, all right, we have five parachutes <laughs> yeah. up for grabs. First come, first serve. And then it, Taylor grabs the first one, just jumps <laughs> out. Grabs all four <laughs> just in case <laughs> there's an emergency. He's got to make, up. He's gotta make sure they yeah. work. Yeah. yeah, exactly right. Tony, get to number one. Yeah, what was number one? Number one. A fitting conversation. Airplanes not taking off in the rain. It's kind of, if anyone's wow. wondering why we're in this studio, it's crazy because there's like a really serious looking meeting going on. Yeah, a normal real. thing that's gone on this entire time. And I wonder if they've heard any of what's going on. Anyway, no. What no. was number one? <laughs> Airplanes take, not taking off in the rain. We were when talking you're about sitting this, on the yeah. tarmac, it's raining. Wow, this is not enough time for this with I you. I know. Because you were minutes. going on and on and mm-hmm. on. I know. And this. we still have Jeremy's story to get to in about oh, three right. minutes we'll or 40 seconds. Correct. We'll get yeah. there. Very important. New York. Well, yeah. So you're sitting on the tarmac. It's raining. They're like, guys, we're on a delay. We can't take off. Guys, it's raining. There's a roof. There's windows. It's it's closed in. It's not a convertible plane. Like, we can take off in the rain. If I can drive my not car a in the rain. Plane. Not a yeah. convertible plane. I know you If I can drive my car in the rain, we can fly a plane. I know you're the Cuba pilot, but do you know anything about how flying works? Of course. Absolutely. I got I got We get I, in the plane. No, listen. You hit the gas. <laughs> that shit takes listen. off. You catch a draft and you're gone, baby. I kind of agree. I, I kind of agree with Tony. Gone, listen. Baby. Listen. Oh, boy. We're, dr- we're driving to work in the rain. Uh, the plane, right? the, yeah. If we're driving to work in the, the rain. The metro works in the rain. Correct. The plane can take off. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. You know, fighter jets this, they, they say no we can't take off no. there's a delay yeah yeah there's delay, a rain we can't put, put the war on hold please it's raining i have yeah. heard can't that, fight out here i have heard that that the whole you fly on top of the clouds use, jeremy no i'm saying well right okay so you're saying just get really get saying, above, it, doesn't, really, it doesn't rain up get above it, 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 <laughs> okay. get above the clouds <laughs> so no matter what just get above the clouds right. yeah just good. keep going above the clouds if you get above the clouds there's no rain because there's no clouds rain on top of the clouds it doesn't rain up uh-huh and and we think that the reason that they don't take off is because of the rain and not because of the lightning. Don't put science into nah, this. Lightning, please. Okay. They absorb it doesn't lightning. lightning up they either. absorb. They absorb it lightning. Well, actually, technically, lightning. it does yeah. lightning up. If you're well, well that's, that's yeah. The ground thing. is that's actually whole, where the yeah. thing comes up. I'm saying it's not, not going to go from a cloud upwards into space. Correct. Right. There's never but been a space, space shuttle it's like, hit by lightning. It's between space. Look it up. Mike Fuentes, is and that true? the clouds. There's like a space <laughs> in between that. I, I don't know. <laughs> you, oh, what? Now, you don't know? No, no. Now you don't know. No, specific, you don't know no. if a space shuttle has ever been hit by lightning in space? I, that's a safe oh, one to space? say. Probably no. never happened. Actually, on takeoff? Don't know, no, actually. they they stop uh, space shuttles when it's raining. Another thing that can't go when it's raining. It's blasting yeah. to another planet, guys. but it can't get you past can get through I, that I, rain I, real quick. I live through Please. a hurricane. The thing can't take off when it's raining. Okay, yeah, yeah, come on now. Okay, seriously. I live through a hurricane. Yeah. That thing this is unbelievable. Yeah, guys, come on. Is it? I don't even want to try to bring logic to this conversation. What's I don't think the it's logic? Worth it. It's not welcomed here anyway. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, great. <laughs> the uh, logic is not welcome. No, nah, it's not welcome. Here. So that your top five. That's it? Yeah, so we'll go through it. Uh, let's see. Uh... The iPad turning for tipping, other people's pets, Uber ratings, people driving in the right hand lane when they're going when they're going straight. What do you think about that, Taylor? Really quick. Good point. Okay. He he rides a scooter. That's true. Yeah. That. You he still don't, don't have, have your car? Deal. That can't yeah. be true. No, I sold my car. Got rid of it. Oh. You just you don't need a car in Miami. Miami. Huh, buddy. Where I'm Tell going. me you're you from New York without telling me you're from New York. I go from Midtown to here. How did you get the sunset place in a in a scooter? No way. That's that can't be true. That's crazy. No, there's no way. No, I Ubered. I Ubered. What's your rating? You fool. Uh Tropical Park is the farthest I've scootered from Midtown. You oh, went wow. to that's park? Cr- that's yeah. but were you able to play soccer with Mike? But were you able? Living. Were you able to get Whitty, back? Whitty drove me home. Uh, we, okay, that's like there's no way you made the trip there and back. Because yeah, I know the Chargers and how I was going to yeah, go yeah. back. Dude, that guy. you drove a scooter. It was about 55 minutes. <laughs> I thought it would be like six hours. Uh, but that's, you know what? You weren't tired because I rode the scooter. Which promo time? Number one airplanes not taking off with the rain. What promo? Did, what did you record? Where did you? What did you take? Just streets the whole time, obviously. Yeah, he just went to Eighth Street or, or Bird. It all went. Yeah, all the way hang down. a right, and that's it. I'm glad we didn't get you started on that. Yeah. yeah. Well, Jeremy, okay. quick, your New York story. What Good happened list. when you went to New York? Oh no, no, no. Hold up. Uh, we need actually promotions. Really oh, quick. you're right, Jeremy. Promotion. Uh, Great. Listen to Miami mic'd up. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just spotted you. Got both football. Check it out. Taylor. Nothing. Okay. Oh. Mike. Three, two, one. Happy New Year. Wow.